Hey guys, this is Mama Made. This is my CVS couponing haul for the week of December the 11th through the 17th, 2022. So I had an 8 off of 40 C CVS coupon that they had, I think, emailed or texted to me. So um, they keep giving me these good threshold coupons, which is why I'm able to actually do decent deals over at CVS. Still, same old CRTs every single week. I'm hoping this changes in the new year, but who knows, as long as I'm getting the threshold coupons, I'm able to make pretty good deals. So the first thing I did, all these items over here were part of the spend 30, earn back $10. Um, so I had to change my plan in the store. Last week, my store was out of head and shoulders, the regular shampoo, and I grabbed the last conditioners that they had. So I figured they probably didn't restock. I was going to grab head and shoulders and use the digital and the PNG. Then I was going to grab a Kotex to get $2 back on Ibotta. Um, so that would have probably been a better deal. Uh, but this is what I had to go with. Sometimes you have to go with backup plans, right? So I grabbed three of the laundry items at $5.49. I did have dollar digital coupons on each of them. Um, you could also go to P&G Good Every Day and probably print off coupons there if you don't have the digitals. The Pantene was three for 15. We have a three or for three digital that was loaded and then I used the PNG coupon from December that did expire yesterday. My store does accept expired coupons. Um, so that right there after getting back the $10 is $12.47, which is too much in my opinion. Um, but I was doing a big deal to get the eight off of 40. So this is a really good deal. I would have grabbed this without a threshold coupon just because it's so good. Um, and we do like to use Nivea. It's buy one, get one 50% off. The men's body wash is always cheaper than the women's. Buy two, earn back $5. Um, I did have two of the dollar coupons from the Save 1113 that was on the men's. Um, I probably would have been a better deal to use the four off of two women's that expired. But that coupon is like almost three weeks expired and I wasn't really sure if my store was going to take something that expired. I thought it would only be for, I know I've tried them up to 14 days. Well, that expired, I think on November 26th and they still accepted it. So um, if I go back on Friday, I'm probably going to grab the women's and try using that coupon, even though it's probably going to be way past the expiration date, but the computer system did still accept it. So 549, the second rings up at buy one, get one 50 at 275. With those two coupons from the expired insert, um, I only paid $1.23 because it's buy two, get back to five. So really good deal there on Nivea and it really helped to get me to the $40. So I was like $39.70 and I didn't think that that eight off of 40 would work if I don't hit the 40 because I've had that happen before and it was kind of ruined my scenario. So I wanted to make sure I was over the $40. So I grabbed a bag of that popcorn. It's $1.99. That stuff is so good and it's actually pretty healthy, um, low calorie. So anyway, $41.70 was the total cost of all of these items. I had $11 in coupons. I used the eight off of 40 CVS coupon. My care pass was about to expire. So I was able to use that. I did not calculate that into this order though. I don't think you should calculate extra care bucks and um, care pass into things. But anyway, that's a different topic. There's a 10 back for the spend 30 and the $5 back for the Nivea, making it a total cost of seven seventy. And I do know some people who wants the laundry products from me. So pretty good deal. Uh, but that's what I grabbed this week over at CVS. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.